Welcome back. I'm Kelsey Fabian. Mary Beth Stutzman from the Alpena Convention and Visitors Bureau joins us this morning. Good morning, Mary Beth. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing great. Now, you are here to talk about the importance of family dinners. Yes, yeah, the importance of eating together as a family. There was a recent study that was just concluded by Columbia University that studied families that eat together meals frequently um, and families that don't eat together over a 10 year period. And they tried to look at causation and correlation and find out, well, we, we know that it's good to eat together as a family, but really why and, and what does it produce? Um, so they found some really interesting things. Um, did, did you, let me ask you, did you eat together with your parents growing up? Um, I did. I was a very active child, so I had a lot of sports and stuff going on, but we always made sure to have Sunday dinners, and my family, along with my mom's side of the family, always got together and had pizza on Fridays. And if we were home for dinner Monday through Friday, we always had dinner together. That's great. My family did too. Um, I, I had just one brother, but, and we were a busy family also, but when we were home, we were home and we ate together. And what this study found is that families that made a point to eat together at least five days a week or five nights a week, and it could be dinner, it could be breakfast, it could have been lunch, it could have been anything, any meal, but families that ate at least five meals together a week showed uh, that they ate more fruits and vegetables, um, which means they also got more vitamins and important nutrition minerals uh, in their diet. Uh, they also showed um, greater levels of communication with each, with each other, which, which translates to the children felt um, that their parents were proud of them. Uh, they did better in school, got better grades, and went on in life to be a little bit more successful than those who didn't eat together. What the study also found with families that didn't eat together as often is that the children didn't feel like their parents were proud of them. Uh, there, there was a greater level of substance abuse and behavioral issues and things, things happen more frequently like violent behavior. And we're not talking always about um, you know, legal problems with children, but you know, more detentions and things like that, you know, getting, getting a bad report during a parent-teacher conference. Um, so there is direct evidence now to say that yes, it's important to eat together as a family. Well, I do think, you know, when you eat together, you get to discuss things. You could talk about school, talk about your homework, you know, talk about how your day was. So I do think it probably makes you feel like your parents are more involved and vice versa because, you know, you're engaging in conversation talking about your day. Yeah, absolutely. And it's something now, being a new mom, I have a, um, I have a four-year-old daughter and a six-month-old son, and it's something that my husband and I, uh, we didn't always do when we were when we were childless before we had kids, um, we spent a lot of time together, but we didn't make the act of eating together a big deal. Now that we have children, we make a point to cook dinner from scratch. Um, we don't go out to eat a lot. We feel like we save money by eating at home and we're also getting a more nutritious meal. And we have that time together and we get to hear about you know, our daughter's day at school and we get to teach her manners and how it's important not to leave the table while everyone's still eating. You know, there's a lot of benefits. Do you guys cook dinner together? Is that also kind of a family activity for you? Well, sometimes. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm a, uh, I don't know what you would call it. I didn't used to cook. My, my husband said when he, when he first met me and he opened my fridge, it looked like a bachelor's fridge because <laughs> it had you know, a jar of mayonnaise and a loaf of bread in it. Um, <laughs> That's probably how my fridge looks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But now uh, we do cook together frequently, or at least we're all in the same room hanging out. Um, I'm taking care of the kids while my husband cooks, does a lot of the cooking. Uh, but some things we found that were important is, uh, you know, number one, you have to make it a priority. Uh, life is very busy and everyone has, has chaotic schedules these days, so it was important for us to say, when we're home, we're going to be home together. And that also means turning off electronic devices, just like mm -hmm. on an airplane, stow and put away. Uh, and, and it's so easy because for those of us in the generation that use smartphones and things like that and they're always with us so when we sit down at the table we bring them with us and we don't realize we might be scrolling through something and eating at the same time so we had to make make a point to say okay and we remind each other you know could you turn it off until we're done mm -hmm. um, and and just find ways to incorporate that into our everyday life that was always a rule whenever we had dinner at the table, we always had to turn off the TV. That was my dad's rule. I always had to go and turn off the TV. Even though we can't see the TV from our kitchen, you could hear it. Mm -hmm. And 
it was always yeah. turn off the TV cast. <laughs> it's still distracting and it mm -hmm. takes away from your family time. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here, Mary Beth. And Mary Beth will be here every Tuesday to inspire Alpina and give life, life tips.